This is the summit of Mount Evans. It's one of the top rated day trips on TripAdvisor and for good reason. And this, well, this is me just days ago feeling really hopeful as I began to explore this very special place with the hope of capturing just one perfect shot, one great photo. Now what makes Mount Evans special, simply put, is accessibility and opportunity. Morning. I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah, good boy. You see, Mount Evans happens to be the highest paved road in North America, reaching a staggering 14,130 feet. And that makes it accessible. You can explore an incredible high alpine tundra without setting up base camp or hiring a Sherpa. Cool. And the journey begins just about one hour west of Denver, Colorado in Idaho Springs. Again, accessible. Now, if you're planning a trip, here are a few things to note. One, access is based on an entry or ticketing system. As state and national parks are becoming so very popular, the park system is ensuring that they don't get overrun and lose their majestic appeal. And there are two options available when it comes to tickets. You can select the Mount Evans Goliath Nature Center and Summit Area Ticket. This will allow you to park at the Nature Center, which is at about tree line 11,000 feet, as well as at the summit. So that's perfect. A lot of people just want to go straight to the summit. They want to photograph the mountain goats. This is perfect and you'll save $5, but you won't be able to park at Summit Lake. If you want to do that, make sure you select this option, $15. For most people, I think the best time to come is going to be in the morning, especially in the summertime. And if you're a photographer like me, then this is definitely the way to go. Being able to capture mountain goats against a crystal clear blue sky renders beautiful photos that you may want to capitalize on. And furthermore, in the summertime, it's so common to get storms and with storms comes lightning and there are so many lightning strikes in Colorado. So morning is a lot safer and is really a great bet. I woke up at 4 a.m. on my second outing to the mountain, leaving the golden area around 5.15 a.m. Early enough to capture this beautiful soft light on this yellow bellied marmot. And yet still, by the time I reached the summit, it was about 6.45, 7 a.m. This high altitude ecosystem, the Colorado Alpine Tundra, is blanketed by snow for the majority of the year. For example, Summit Lake is located at 12,830 feet and is considered a Denver park. It's also still frozen often in early June. Now, I visited in mid-July and was amazed to spot trout almost immediately. It's just <laughs> such a beautiful and exciting experience to be so far removed from civilization and yet still just a few hours away from home. If you like nature and wildlife this is something to put on your bucket list for sure and if you're like me if you're a photographer this is a must see if you're ever in the Denver area get to Mount Evans it's just that special you'll see shrubs moss lichen and some of the oldest trees on the planet all clinging to life showcasing their remarkable ability to adapt Wildlife, too, finds ingenious ways to survive. 
Mountain goats, which are the main attraction here on Mount Evans, keep themselves safe by agilely navigating sheer cliffs, which other animals are not able to traverse. And that's where my journey began, to capture these beautiful, majestic creatures. However, the more I learned about this interesting landscape and the wildlife that makes it their home, the more I wanted to capture the entire beauty of this Colorado mountain. As I drove up, I saw a deer and a black fox. It was incredible. Getting out of my car, I asked a woman with binoculars what she was in search of, and she mentioned pikas. Pikas? Yes, pikas, small mountain-dwelling mammals native to Asia and North America. Now, these creatures have short little limbs and very round bodies with no external tail. They resemble their close relative, the rabbit, but with shorter, rounder ears. And goodness, these pikas keep themselves busy, gathering and storing flowers for substance during their long winter hibernation. And then, of course, yellow-bellied marmots. These things are everywhere, and you're going to see them if you drive to the summit. But again, it's these beautiful, majestic creatures, mountain goats, that steal the show. And you'll also see, if you're lucky, some mountain sheep. I did on my first visit, and I'm hoping to capture some photos and videos on my next. And in July, it's baby goat season. And let me tell you, these little ones are so cute. As I sat down at the summit and chased these goats around, three or four babies just kind of piled upon each other and just hung out and then started to give each other kisses. It was pretty cute. Cuteness overload. Being able to explore such a diverse and interesting landscape from the comfort of my car was really a special experience. You know, as I look back and reflect on my two trips thus far to Mount Evans, you know, it's always about striving to capture that one perfect shot. But more than that, it's just connecting with nature. It's finding this serenity that only comes when I'm in nature and surrounded by wildlife and wildflowers and the trees and the mountains and the waterfalls that I'm able to access here in Colorado. Such a beautiful location and I hope, my friend, you too can visit one day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.